Hey, what's going on everybody? Terrence Robinson here with the Home Source Realty team, powered by none other than JP and Associates Realtors. So look, I know some of you guys have been following our fix and flips and how we've redesigned some of the different spaces that we've been working on. Um, this is no different, but this is near and dear, right? Because this one is, is about us. This was about us. Uh, the wife gave me an idea of what she wanted. Or she gave me, you know, the, the bug in my ear. And then I took it from there, designed it out, and we, we made it happen. So what you'll see, which I'm excited for you guys to see, because I'm excited about it, uh, is there's a portion of this where we, of course, you know, brought in some folks to do things that I feel like are best to have people do. And then the rest of it from there, what I love about my wife is she just let me wing it. She let me do my thing. She jumped in to help where she needed to, but ultimately she just kind of let me do my thing. And so this is becoming my passion, my hobby outside of, of helping others find their place and find their love. This is following right up behind that. So if you have something, you like what you see, you have an idea of something, you, you want some help designing, you want some help building, or you just need somebody to do it for you, give me a call. You all, you all know my number, but if you don't, 682-465-3896, or you can email me at tRobinson at homesourcert.com. Check it out. Let me know what you think. So the first thing I had to do was uh, bury my ego and hire experts for the important points. So laying concrete and building pergolas is not my thing. and Both are tedious and precision jobs that require experts in their field. So we brought in Riego Landscaping. Um, Edgar and his team rose to the challenge, so they properly anchored the post before laying the concrete slab. Um, it was just it was really cool to see the team in action from concrete trucks to the little powered wheelbarrow thingy the guy was standing on for transporting the concrete through the neighbor's yard, I might add. So just a shout out to having great neighbors. Now once the slab was completed, it was cured, it was ready, and the pergola was built, I think I was ready to jump into action. <laughs> well, my wife looked more ready than I did. The concept. So I drew this out well before starting the project, getting all the measurements, and definitely making sure that everything was going to fit on this new slab. And so once the slab was done and the pergola was built, I pulled out the new Cuisinart Twin Oaks pellet and gas grill and set that in place for framing. Now framing was relatively easy when you have gotten some of that exposure, so uh, I think this was the easiest part of the job for me. Once framing was done on the grill section, I had a secret idea in mind. The building of the wall. No, not Trump's wall. Although I think my wall's about the same length and height as his. Um, what could this wall possibly be? This was the question asked over and over by my wife, kids, and family. They just couldn't see my vision, but I knew where I was going with it. Now I had great help in, with my niece, my wife, my kids, as they began laying out the tile over the slab. Uh, with a little bit more practice, they just might become professionals. Stoning out the framed kitchen area was fun, uh, in the worst sense of the word, but we pushed through it in summer heat. Once all of the stone was completed and grouted, we were ready to install the stainless steel doors that allow access to the propane, the grease, and the ash catch, and the power in case of emergencies. Now everything is completed and cleaned, uh, the tile is done, the kitchen is done, let's see what we've transformed this boring backyard into. Our private backyard getaway came out awesome. The light warm tones of the stone complemented the tile flooring well. We had a couple of larger, darker grays to really give us the accent from the borders and just in, in the mix of the, the tile.
The mysterious wall came out to be a great centerpiece of the project where the TV can rest protected, for the most part, from the sometimes harsh outdoor Texas elements. So relaxing furniture with the drapes that complement the look and add as an extra heat barrier from the sun. The night lighting. This makes for the perfect ambiance for enjoying the cool fall evenings with that gorgeous fire to keep warm. It was great because I learned so many great lessons uh, from this first major project of my own outside of flipping houses. So this was the first home project outdoors where I got a chance to really see how to make something in my head come to life. And it allows my family to enjoy just a beautiful backyard getaway, especially in the midst of COVID. In the outdoor beverage center, the storage, and cooking with tons of counter space, a bar area for extra table eating, and a swing to enjoy the mornings or the nights makes this our backyard getaway.